All right, so one of the big differences with th this version of this case is it has this uh, fan housing right here. So uh, with this, you have t three, um, tip this up so you can see, there we go. So which, uh, we've got three 120 millimeter fans right here. Um, and they're not WPM, they're just uh, all fold, full speed all the time, um, Molex powered fans. So uh, we're going to test those and we're going to see how loud they are. Um, and we might end up changing these out with um, either Arctic or Noctua fans. Um, let's see. Uh, but this, for these back fans back here, we're probably going to change these out because more than likely, I would bet they're probably loud. Um, you can actually find out really quick. I've got a little test power supply. So we can plug these guys in here. go and let's see grab the right end of the power cable here okay and grab my ATX power tester real quick oops oh, that's got a 24 pin. Those are not horrifically loud, so we might just leave those in there. I was going to replace them with Doctor fans, but actually, those are not that bad. Hmm. All right. Let's fire up some more fans here. So we're going to fire up the stock 120s in here and see. thing about Molex is that sometimes it just doesn't want to go together real easily. Especially when it's cheap Molex. There's one. Hmm. Those are not the most powerful fans on the planet. Interestingly enough. So. I mean, they give pretty good airflow, but at the same time. Hmm. They're kind of wimpy. Honestly. Let's see. I have a Arctic PWM PST P12 fan here. So, for sake of comparison, 
let's see what we get. Uh, let's see, I will need a PWM to Molex adapter. which I actually have one. So, all right, let's see here. So, oh, come on. line up like we're supposed to and not push the pin out. That would be great. This is why the industry has tried to do away with Molex for this very reason. Because the four pins don't like to line up sometimes. All right, so I'll turn this around real quick. Or, that's four pin. Hmm. Oh, I have a four pin adapter. I got something that'll work better though. Let's see. There we go. So that's got airflow. Oh yeah, way out past the case. Unscientifically, I would say it's about one of these Arctics is about the same as probably Almost all three of these uh, these Rosewell fans put together. Um, so, yeah. Pretty close. So, yep. So, we'll leave these in. Um, but the front, there's two front fans in the front up here. Uh, inside these drive cages. Uh, we'll change those out and we'll put these Arctic fans in. In their place. And we'll do that. So, all right. Yeah, so if you, kind of one of those things, if, if you were going to take and you were going to put a big, also if you have one of these, don't use it like this for a very long period of time, because this gets hot. So, just a word of caution. But, anyways, the, uh, yeah, so these Arctic fans put out way more power, or way more airflow. So, yeah, we'll, I've got two of them, so we'll change the fronts out. If you were going to um, put a really hot CPU set inside this, so like say you were doing a dual Xeon Platinum, or you were doing a, um, a dual set of um, um, like 7202, 64-core, epics or something like that that take eat up a ton of power 
um, because that would be about 500 watts. If you were doing something like that, you could do it in a 4U case like this. Um, the trick would be is you would have to change out all the fans in this. You'd have to go to as much um, higher end fans in the rear. Now I'm curious. So now that we know that these three fans up here are fairly wimpy, I'm really curious to know if our 80 millimeter redux knock to a fan will actually do far better than those two, one of those fans, because I had ordered Redux fans, because we, if you watch the previous Epic build, you'll see I've um, I changed the Antec fans out for these, simply because of the fact that the Antec fans are stupid loud. Um, yeah, they're extremely loud, and they are annoying to no end. So, but just for, these are pretty quiet, um, but for the sake of airflow, I want to see how much better they do. So... Let's see here. There we go. There's that. Get my tester back out here. Oh yeah, hugely different. Yeah, so this has, I can feel the airflow on this one out to about here. This one I can feel the airflow to about here. So I guess you can't see my hand on this side. So I got about airflow for about three inches on the Rosewell. On the Noctua I have airflow Oh yeah, for a good 12 inches. So, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll change these out um, because the the one the one drawback to the um, the cooler that we're going to use in this machine is the um, or the heat the NHU9 uh, TR4 SP3 is it has two of these in the 93 inch 93 millimeter, and so. Um, if later on down the road we want to upgrade the, um, if we want to upgrade the CPU uh, to a like say a 180 watt chip, so like a 24 core or something like that, um, it would be who of us to not have to change out all the other fans, so we don't have um, an airflow restriction anywhere. So, yeah. So we'll go ahead and change these out. So we'll go ahead and put our Noctua's up front. Um, we'll put our Arctics. P12s in the our put our Noctuas in the rear, put our Arctics up front, and we'll go ahead and leave these in here, and they're just gonna basically just help the airflow guide out the back of the machine, so which is fine. So all right, so there's that. All right, good deal. And I don't know noise wise. I mean these are a little noisier than these. But I'm going to say the RPM is quite a bit higher. Because um, these are 1800 RPM. We'll take one of those uh, other ones out and we'll find out what the RPM is. Um... Hmm. Doesn't say on the 120s. But the Arctics are a totally different fin design. 
or blade design. So, okay, all right. Uh, we'll disassemble this and then we'll come back. All right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and change our two rear fans out here uh, while we're at it, so. couple definite advantages is that we'll have uh, yeah so these are 2000 rpm but evidently the fin design or the blade design on these oh yeah you can definitely notice because of the pitch so the pitch on on these blades versus the pitch on the noctua blades even though this is a slower fan by 200 rpm it actually probably produces four times the airflow just because it's a far better design fan than this one is so yep all right but I mean these aren't bad but they're not ideal so, there's one. so like share subscribe um, leave your questions and comments and concerns below and we'll see you on the next one Bye for now.